Hey guys, we are back at the burn unit. Say hi, Elena. Elena. <laughs> here on Monday and it is now Friday and they are going to take this off um, she has a um, like a, a gray pad stuck to her skin and it's taped on to her skin um, they said that it has silver in it and other medications um, one of the burns um, as I stated before has like a white spot in the center of it um, whenever they checked it Monday so they just wanted to check it again to make sure that it's healing well um, they will probably divide it which means like dig out the old skin I really hope they don't have to do that um, but they have to make sure that underneath the tissue is healing well but she's digging my wallet Her hair is a mess because she had her jacket on with a hat on it. Elena, can you tell everybody hi? Hi. <laughs> it's funny. You're funny. You look so sweet. I'm a baby. You're a baby? Yes. You're getting older though. Ignore her dirty shoes. I didn't realize you were that dirty until just now. <laughs> she likes to play in the mud. But yeah, the bandaging stayed really, really clean. She's been wearing like some long sleeve footed pajamas most of the time. I just put this dress on her this morning because um, it's easier for them to get to her arm if she has a um, has no sleeves. Can I help you? waiting for the doctors and nurses to come in and take this off and see how it's doing. We're in a different room. It's a bigger room. I just took the bandage off. These are healed and close enough. Just these two. We're going to do daily bandages. Because there's still a little white in there. And they're not closed. They wanted it to look more like this. But those are deeper. What so, is healing? Oh no. She's upset because the tape was stuck to her hand, her arm. They pulled the tape off. So it is the next day. Um, I was just editing this video and I wanted to come on and let you know that the reason why she was crying was not because of her burns. It was because um, last Monday whenever they put the pads on the silver pads, they basically said they was impregnated with silver um, and that silver helps uh, healing faster. Um, so they had some like medical tape wrapped around that just to keep it close to the skin. Um, and when they pulled that off, it, they, they pulled, like, the top layer of her skin off is what it looked like. Um, you could see the white patches on her skin, um, where the tape was at and was pulled off. She was upset about that. Um, so, they are having me change out the dressing on her arm once a day. They gave me some ointment that is different, basically, um, the ointment will eat away at the dead back, the dead skin, um, instead of them having to go in and, like, debride it themselves, which is painful, um, the medication is supposed to do it for them, so we go back in a week, so next Friday we are going to go back, um, she said, do not expect the medication to heal it really, really fast, this is going to be a long process. Um, so, Thursday, I'm to clean it again. 
Friday morning, I'm not supposed to clean it. They want to go ahead um, and take all that off and clean it themselves and see um, how it's looking and bandage it if they need to from there. So, um, it's just a long road um, and she's not really complaining about being in the pain like at home or anything like that. Um, I'm just keeping like long sleeve pajamas on her. We don't want her to go outside and um, get dirt in it. We don't want her to actually sweat at all um, because we want there to be a barrier there. Um, I'm having to keep some um, Vaseline based um, dressing over it and then we wrap it with uh, like a gauze and then we put this little sleeve thing over it um, to keep it in place. So our goal is to keep it moist and not dry. A lot of people think that you should um, keep your wounds dry to heal faster, but you're really not supposed to. You want it to be um, not dry um, because the skin can heal like that. So it is just a long road ahead of us, preferably um, this week goes by fast, and we get to her appointment, um, and it's healed enough to the point where she doesn't need bandages anymore or daily dressings. Um, we may go back to weekly dressings after next week, um, but just praying for her that she has no pain with this and that it heals uh, well. Uh, it looks like she will be having some scars left there, unfortunately. What's the matter? Are you sleepy? Yeah. You got something in your eye? You want to say hi? Come here. Okay. So, I just now um, changed the dressing on her um, her arm. And she did really, really good. So, are you going to go to sleep? But it's just so early. It's only five something. If I let her go to sleep before eight o'clock, she will wake up within an hour and think that it's morning for some reason. So I try not to let her Mama, nap after five. You need to blow your nose. Yeah. Alright, thanks everybody for watching. Y'all be blessed. Bye. Bye. Bye.